Hi friends, my name is Femi Biwayi. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to get relational data. Active Record is capable of bringing together related data, making them readily accessible through the primary data. For instance, we can <clears throat> we can get the list of images that are attached to this particular record. Remember, we create a table called um, pictures, and each of these pictures are related to a a, a, a product here. This simply means uh, a product will have one or more images uploaded in the pictures table. And also, at our own page, let's say we choose a product. This is our main uh, product image. It also could have multiple images attached to it beneath it. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can easily retrieve your data, related data, in one um, query. First, I'll go to our backend and our model. I'll go to our product. So this will be the parent. Why the pictures is, is going to be the um, child, the pictures table. So we'll say public function. Then we'll say get. Then what do we want to name our, our, relate, our relational data? So we'll call it pictures. So now we'll say return this. So we'll say as many or has one. As, as one means it's only there's only one record attached or connected to this particular um, table, to this particular record we'll be fetching. And as many means a particular record who has more related data in another table. So we we'll say as many because because a record in products could have more image in a pictures table. So we we'll say as many. So we'll call our model class, which is pictures. We we'll say um, class name. Then what is our uh, the parameter that's joining them together. What uh, what is the foreign key? I mean, the relationship they have together. So the first parameter will be, you know, it's going to be in form of array. So we we'll say for our pictures, it's going to be product ID, product ID, and this is going to be the ID. Product ID is for the field in pictures. Why the ID that is going to be connected to it is going to be the um, ID coming from this place from our product so let's save and go to our product we we'll save view so we want to be able to loop through our view so we can have list of um, the pictures beneath this place so what we need to do is we we'll say Let's go to our controller, product controller. So we'll look for view. So this is view. So what we need to do now is it's easier. So let's look for um we'll create our for each statement. So let's say we want to make use of table. I want to say T R. Let's say T H. Mm -hmm. So we we'll duplicate this. We say ID, and we have image. So why say T H? Our CD and 
CD. So our first parameter here will be first let's look through this. So now what we need to use is we need to call this this name we have here which is pictures so it's going to be picture but it's not going to be capital letter it's going to be small letter so in case we want to have um in case we have two words that is joined together let's say we say pictures many okay let's say um pictures many but for now we'll just use pictures So we say as pictures as as a picture. So I'll say picture. This will be the product ID. And I'll have this to be the image. So let's refresh and see what we have here. Let's look at the last record. How about the third record? Good. We have two records there, which is coming from this place. Two record which is coming from this place. So let's properly format our table. Say class table. Hopefully this should properly format it. So we have two records. So in case we had more records to this place, let me open another tab, and I want to add upload multiple so i want to select polo 2 and i upload so coming back to this place which is polo 2 i have three record uploaded there so now what we need to do now is we want the images we uploaded to appear beneath each of the product that we have in our database. So let's quickly do that. Um, I'll go to front end and go to my view, go to my product, um, product ID for so. So what I need to do is um, let me look for where the image is located. Let me look for zoom. So now our default product image is going to be loaded from this place. So let's quickly add that. So images, our picture is coming from images, product, then product, they will concatenate the image name, we'll say, item, image. Let's be sure this works. Let's say product. This works. So now we need to add image to it. Beneath. Remember, we only have um, one image uploaded here. If I should click on this, it probably will not display the image because the image file is missing. So I'll select this. Now we want to check if we have multiple images to beneath it. 
um, and the images higher I guess So these are the three images. So I just want to show you how you can click to that. So I'll say pictures, pictures. as picture all I need is um, to have this so I'll comment this up and use something similar to this good Maybe picture of an image. So let's refresh. We do not have any image for this. Let's go to uh, this. We do not have any image beneath it. I think we have Polo 2 and Acapella. So let's go to Acapella. We have two images beneath it. Don't mind the way, the size of the image. Let me try to reduce it from here. So let's see. Um, width is um, 50 so let me make it 100 so you might need to use your CSS to style and um, you know, make, it of, make it of the size let's look at the Polo 2 the size works good we have three images here so I hope you find this useful and um, see you in our next tutorial